Member for Saanich North End Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This uh, February 14th marks the 170th anniversary of the agreement between the first British Columbia governor, James Douglas, and my ancestors, the CM of the Saanich people. Some history books tell a story that these treaties were land sale agreements, that myself, Wayne, gave up our homelands for just a few blankets. The Husaitnich tell a different story, Mr. Speaker. James Douglas was a corporate man, starting at 16 with the Northwest Company before landing a top job with the Hudson's Bay Company. The meeting between Douglas and the heads of our Husaitnich families that led to the Pre-Confederation Treaty was to air out two grievances, a dispute over timber harvesting near Cordova Bay and the murder of a messenger boy traveling between two Husaitnich villages. The Husaitnich took offense to the loss of our relative and, their ter and the intrusion into our territory and responded with a war party of four canoes. The historical and ongoing conflict on the land over resource extraction is part of our oral history. The written version of the Douglas Treaties does not account for the linguistic and cultural elements, the context that is shared through the oral tradition. The X's on the papers, those signatures, were also understood differently. To the Husaitnich, those X's represented crosses, thinking it was a sign of sincerity and honesty, the sign of their God, the sign of the highest order of honesty. 170 years later, those treaties are still the only agreements between the Husaitnich and Canada. And while this provincial government acknowledges the treaties exist, they do not acknowledge the beneficiaries of those agreements that enshrine the rights to hunt and fish as formerly. Unfortunately, the conflict on the land in these territories continues. X's on papers reflect the desire for sincerity and honesty, and they continue to be signed with the hope of good faith. The people sitting in these seats, well, we come and go. Only when the story written and the story shared from one generation to the next are the same story will we deserve the pat uh, do we, will we deserve to pat ourselves uh, for, uh, on our back for a job well done? Thank you, Mr. Speaker.